Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing great today. Today I got a game from Happy. Um, Happy is a gentleman that come, that's uh, from, you know, he lives in England and he gets on TeamSpeak with us and hangs out and platoons with us. And he's a really good tanker and uh, he's been grinding this, this, this super chavy for a while. And uh, we, we get on this province map and I'm platoon with him and he's going to go and get in a really good spot and position and light just light up everybody. It's beautiful. He's going to pull a patrol duty. And I'm going to head over to the other side and because our team spawns on the west side of this map. And, man, this dude has a banging game. And, and at the end, I'm I'm left, I'm left alone, and I get hemmed up behind a rock. And he comes over and rescues my miserable tail and ends up getting a final kill. So, man, it was great, dude. And, and to get that second mark of excellence just icing on the cake after a win, man. So it was a beautiful thing. Thank you so much for platooning with me, Happy. I was really uh, – it was pretty cool to, to see you get that, man. So congratulations. Without further ado, y'all, let's get to it. Thanks for watching. So our team is going to spawn over on the west side of this uh, province map, and Happy's in his super chappy, and he's got this thing one marked. And and of all the the free tanks you get after being in the you know the game for after five years the light tanks particularly um this one here is is, is i don't know it, it its stats aren't nearly as good as some of the other ones but in the hands of a capable player um it's thing this whole thing can be devastating as you're about to see he's gonna go get in a bush um where is it it's probably like about the e4 e3 area um you'll see yeah, and he's going to light these cats up, and he's going to pretty much hang out there for a, a better part of the game. And uh, we'll see how it turns out. About, let's see, like six of us are going to deploy, and I'm included in that number, are going to deploy to the east side of the map. We go down and fight the 8-9 line. He's about to pick up the easy 8 here in just a second right there. And then he's going to pick up both Cromwell Bs, an Amex 12T, and then another T-78. It's going to start the process. And there goes the T-78. There's the Cromwell Bs. And then there's the, the AMX 12T. And that stops them in the tracks. And they're going to take a right-hand turn and go up the hill. Um, and they're going to go get into a really strong position. And that's typically how this other this side plays out. The T-78 is lit up. He's going to be perma-spotted for the majority of this game by Happy. And uh, I'm, I've paused by our base. I've, I'm looking at taking some, some cheeky shots. And... Uh, uh, I got a slow start to Jackson's not that fast. My crew is not 100% trained in camo or or anything, really, for that matter. I do have six cents on my tank, so don't play the Jackson that much. Uh, I'm, out, I, I'm playing it because I got battle pass points on it. So, um, as you can see, six of our guys have, have, have made it over to the to the to the enemy side of this this map, you know. But the A43 and the Poodle will will come back across um, to help out. Um, the two line you know our side of the map here because it's going to get pretty dicey the chromo bees man are going to play this game like a bunch of bosses and their tds over over you know by their base are going to be really they're going to do a really really good job so um some really good players on well on both sides heavy backs up lets the bush go pick it takes a shot on t78 since nobody was able to get any get any shots on the dude still dude still spotted by happy um if he would go get behind a bush or a building or something and go unspotted, he would he would realize that he's had <laughs> somebody sitting right here. Um, and how happy can resist the urge to shoot? It's, it's that's a uh, next level man. Like I said, he's an accomplished um, light tank guy. And T seventy eight is done, <laughs> so they still have another T seventy eight. And in, the guy that's sitting over that dude right there is going to have a, a monumental game. He's gonna he's gonna have an awesome game. And I'm finally, if you see me over to Jackson, I'm finally getting up getting up the hill. And the T seventy does get spotted, and it's like, man, this how he doesn't how he can restrain from taking that shot right there. He's all, happy's also a TD guy, but he he knows you know if he takes a shot, he's he's gonna get lit. And uh, you're gonna have all those guns sitting there, focus firing. You. And there's there's a pesky disc, Dicker Max that's gonna come back into play later on in the game, along with that T78. And looking at the lineup now, man, it's it, where it's tied up, and you know that that eight nine line is not looking good. Um, they've got us pretty much pushed back all the way to the approach, and uh, the enemy team's got 
great map control over on the two and three line, and Happy's sit, still sitting here in his bush. Um, he hasn't been spotted yet. The AMX 12T is going to come around, is going to uh, proxy spot him, unfortunately, is going to force him to move. Um, you can see the poodles crossing back across the bottom of the map about our base to um, come up and help. The Hellcat's bugging out to go help, to go sit back with the Artie. So, I mean, I don't blame him. He got no armor, but he does have a cracking good gun, and that's that's how you play the Hellcat. So good on him. He knows how to play his tank. Here comes the AMX 12T, and you can see he's going to proxy spot him. See what I'm saying? He's inside his blue circle, and that T78 across the way is going to start wearing Happy out, um, along with a couple of the other tanks over there. Um, I managed to get a hit on the, t the 12T from across the map. Um, made him think twice. And there comes the Artie. And there's the Yag Panzer. T-78 is about to give him a, a little, about to tap him on the shoulder right there for 236. So Happy's only got 211 hit points left. Um, depending on the tank that shoots him, he's a one shot at this point. So he's got to be really careful here. So and Artie just stuns his crew, doesn't, doesn't get any damage on him. So Happy should be unspotted. Just being having having the ability to know when you're spotted and not spotted, man, is it, just phenomenally new. He knew he could leave. Um, it, it, that's that's just the experience, man. He's been playing this game for a long, long time. He's just waiting. He knows there's a crom. Usually there's a crom all sitting up on top up there. Um, you know. Poodle's going to pull up. He's beat up, too. I mean, everybody's beat up at this point. Like I said, these dudes... The, I give credit to the enemy team, man. They play, playing the game like a boss. Is, man. They're down by four, but you wouldn't know it. The way they're pushing. The way they're putting pressure. Um, they're not quitting. And that's, that's, that's beautiful, man. Happy's going to pull up here and force his... It looks like the AMX 12T was probably on a reload. He bounces a shot from the Crown B, which is amazing for 135. I shot the MX 12T from across the map, and you see the Basato's pulling up on, on me. If you look over on the right hand side of the map, and I do manage to take him out. Um, but now you got this this Cromwell over here. This Cromwell beat just dug in like a tick, man. Um, the AMA, the A43 is going to pull down and go down the down, take the low road um, and start to head towards their base, and uh, going to kind of light the dude up. Yeah, and, uh, and I'm I'm kind of stuck over here. On their that little similar approach, you know, I can't move. If I pull out, man, um, their Dicker Max or one of their already, you know, one of their their TDs is going to light me up. And I'm pretty much low health. And Happy's going to pull out right here and see if he can get a shot. Now the dude's behind the building, man. He don't have a shot on him, um, but I do. So Happy's going to make his way. He's going to go back down to that little approach that he was at. Um, where he was sitting at the start of the game, getting that map, and the T-78 is going to run into Happy. You know, as a side note, um, you know, when, when you're when you're loading into games and the clock ticks down and the game starts, um, let your light tanks go first. There, there's bushes of places they need to go to, and if they don't, you can change the outcome of the game by slowing down your your, T, your, your light tanks. Let them go. They're they're the most important piece of this this this, this puzzle, man. Um, happy gets so. <laughs> I wish you could hear him on Team Speak, boy. When somebody when somebody does that to him, uh, <laughs> it cracks me up. Yeah, he, he doesn't hold nothing back. Let's put it to you that way. <laughs> he doesn't hold nothing back in in his life and and in this game, and he puts it all out there. He's passionate about this game, and it's, that's why it's so much fun to platoon with him because. Uh, he he doesn't he doesn't mince words, man. <laughs> That's what I love about him, man. He he says exactly what is on his mind, and it's like it's on point, man. It makes sense. Yeah, it's like he's been playing this game for a long time. And I don't know. It might be something to do with the British, man. They just just say what they think, and that's good. Sometimes that's what you need, and that'll help you grow. So. Here comes a Cromwell B, and I finally, he finally, he finally makes a mistake. He was playing a great game. I mean, I'm not taking it away, but he, he was playing this thing like a boss, man. He was staying out of cover, and he finally, he finally made a mistake, and that's the only reason I was able to get him. You can see I shot him from across the map, and it's, this is at the point of the game where that T-78 across the way on their enemy team is, is a good player. There's no doubt about it. 
Um, the Dicker Max is, is that tank has got it's got a really good gun and it can do a lot of damage if it hits you. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have a turret, but man, the thing's got a good gun. So don't underestimate that tank either. Uh, I'm stuck behind a rock and there's I can't spot the Dicker Max because he's in the bushes. And uh, Happy's coming over to help me. He's like he's basically telling me, man, don't don't move, just stay where you're at. I'm coming, you know. Um, I'm on my way. So, and the, you know, your 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 light tanks, they they got camo. Their camo value doesn't decrease whenever they're uh, when they're moving. Uh, now, now, if I guess if you have a if you have a camo net, and that would be one thing. But you know, you just your, you know, if you've got your your muffler on there or whatever. You know, you don't lose that. And that's why they're able to move around a little better than... If I move, I'm dead. Um, the dude, I'm a one-shot for that Dicker Max all day long. I've got like a... I think I had like 160 hit points left or something like that. It's not much. 163. The T-70 is going down there to, 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 to get... He's going to kill the A-43. The A-43 was a one-shot. Um, the M44 is has come over to this side, you know, has redeployed and has got a great angle to get on that, to get that T78. And so there I am stuck behind this rock. The T70, the, the Dicker Max is on, is in the, is in those bushes. If I'd have pulled out the dude, it would have killed me for sure. Um, if, you know, if he was in a place, a place where he could actually see, you know, that's one thing you get double bush, you can't see. So it, it, it kind of works against you, but I, I don't know. I don't, we're gonna take a chance. M44 takes out the um, takes out that pesky T78, and that I mean, I ain't taking nothing away from that dude. That dude played a great game. He had an awesome game. I managed to get a hit on the Dicker Max. Yeah, uh, Happy's gonna pull up here and bait a shot on him. And this is why I don't like playing non turdy TDs. It's tough situations like this, man. Are tough, tough, tough to play. And uh, Happy pulls out and gets a good hit on the dude's a one shot. He's only got 38 hit points left. Artie's on a reload. Happy pulls up and takes him out. And that's his, you know, gets that kill. So outstanding game, dude. Congratulations on a, just an amazing game. Um, your spotting directly contributed to this outcome, and especially that the end here with this Dicker Max. There's no way I could have done it by myself. I'm pretty sure he would have killed me. So see what he got. He obviously got that, you know, he got his second mark of excellence, which is outstanding, dude. Um, First class master badge spotter and then patrol duty. You, you did 278 damage um, yourself and you um, 2,775 assist damage for a combined 3,053. You did manage to block 135 from that crown wheel B, which is pretty cool. And you spot six spots. You got you spotted the MX 12T, the crown, both crown wheel Bs, the Easy 8 and the Basato and the T78. And uh, that Dicker Max was your kill at the end of the game, man. Great game, dude. <laughs> so, like I said, man, Happy Happy gets on and plays from England, man. And uh, and uh, he's always fun to platoon with. And it's just a good time. And he, he, he like I said, he definitely he definitely help you get better as a tanker and help you you know call you out on your mistakes and you learn from it and you just get better and better. And that's why I like platooning with him because. Uh, I, I my my de my my stats definitely improve when I'm when I'm platooning with this guy. So happy, thank you so much, man, for for hanging out with me. This this game was recorded, like I said, probably about two weeks ago, and uh, we were hanging out on Friday night, just having some fun. And uh, to see you, man, to be a part of this, man, was just awesome. Congratulations, dude. It's it's tough to to get that second mark, and uh, it's a major accomplishment. So he's actually got a, another tank. Um, three marked, which is pretty cool is t67 so anyway man congratulations dude on a great game um it was a lot of fun like i said and uh thank you so much everybody for coming back to the channel and hanging out with me and letting me uh entertain you at least a little bit for a little bit of your day i really do appreciate it and that's why i do it because i love doing this and uh if it wasn't complete garbage due to me um please consider leaving a comment and a thumbs up would be awesome and uh it's your first time here and you somehow managed to stumble on my channel welcome to it i hope you liked it and if you do please consider subscribing hitting that notification bell and if you uh got a you know you got a game you're proud of you want to have it featured send it to me um check out the description and there's an email link and or leave a comment and i'll get back with you and we'll make it happen it'll be awesome so anyway y'all 
Thank you so much. Y'all take care and have a great day. And then we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.